What's going on guys? It's Coach Mark here with another programming preview. Last week of Murph prep before big Memorial Day and uh, obviously we're doing Murph uh, next week. So this week uh, on Monday we have six sets of three sumo deadlift um, from the ground. So wide stance, your hands will be inside of your feet, really trying to find a good, really good starting um, position with this lift. It's not, not one we do a ton of, we definitely do more conventional deadlifts. So we'll spend some time just really breaking down um, where we want the feet to be and hands and just every, everything in between there. So once we're done there, we will get a little bit of conditioning in with our favorite uh, Tabata time format, right? And we'll use, uh, we'll build off that initial sumo deadlift into a high pull and we'll use a kettlebell for that movement. And then we'll also have the Russian swing. So it'll just be four minutes total, alternate between the movements, and our score will be the total number of reps. On Tuesday, we got a big uh, kind of, not necessarily super duper long workout, but um, a longer uh, high volume uh, style workout with 50 uh, med ball cleans. So from the ground, uh, pulling the, the medicine ball in this scenario, right? Um, just like a clean, but catching it in a squat. 50 of those and then we're going on an 800 meter run down around the loop so again with that murph prep we're obviously been doing a lot of running um, we might kind of uh, temper that down a little bit after murph um, just a little bit so we really appreciate you guys enduring all the running um, with us lately so three rounds 50 med ball cleans 800 uh, meter run a simple way to modify that is just take down the reps or lower uh, the distance on the run or obviously row or use the bike on Wednesday, we got another gas pedal um, style workout, just like last Wednesday. We have five rounds, but shorter reps. Five push press, so just taking the bar and then driving it up over the head, and then trying to hold on to that bar, and then getting uh, six hang power clean. So anywhere from the hip to the knee, um, up to the shoulder for the hang power clean, and then seven burpees. So five, six, seven, five rounds. We're hoping that's a sub five workout for a lot of us. So just pick a weight that you can kind of hold on to through those five and six uh, rep ranges with those two movements to uh, start. Thursday, we kind of slow things down just a little bit, work on some skills. So we're still trying to really get everyone uh, proficient with the pull-ups. So we're going to work on strict pull-ups. So a lot of us will be using bands, that's absolutely fine. Or even doing something like a ring row um, to build some strength. It'll be a 16 minute EMOM. So on the first minute, as I mentioned, strict pull-ups, second minute, we're gonna try to jump on a higher than normal box. So not necessarily looking for as many uh, reps as possible within that minute, but just really trying to um, create a stimulus that makes us jump a little bit higher. Um, so 30 and 24 would be recommended. If you're really um, athletic and you can jump high, then we might even uh, challenge you to jump a little bit higher than that. If not, obviously just lower um, the, uh, the height of the box. And then uh, minute three, will be dips, so you can do those on the rings or on a bar uh, or on the bars, and uh, that's pretty straightforward. Again, just trying to break those up, not necessarily going to failure on that first uh, round. And then to get the heart rate up a little bit within the 16 minutes, we have our double unders or single unders. So again, 16 minutes, basically four rounds through. Uh, you'll have a minute of work. Generally speaking, we'll be working for about 50 seconds, and then we'll that last 10 seconds we'll use as a transition to move to the next movement. Um, where are we at? We're at Friday. Friday, I like this workout, uh, of course, because it's got back squats in it, right? So three rounds, 12 back squats. You're gonna try to find a weight that you can go unbroken um, within that rep range. We will take the bars from the rack. Um, so 12 back squats. We're gonna try to go unbroken on those, 225 and 155, and then just a short run, 200 meters, and then there'll be a 30 second rest after the run. So once you get back in from the run, just a little rest, just enough excuse me, just enough time to catch your breath a little bit um, before we actually start. And then Saturday, uh, again, we're getting real close to that high volume Murph day. So on Saturday, we do have a decent amount of volume, but it's teams of two, um, 20 kettlebell swings, 20 sit-ups, 20 burpees. Uh, again, bring your friend, bring your worst enemy, whatever you want, bring someone in um, on, on Saturday. And every minute on the minute with this uh, 20 round workout, we will do five jump squats for just one partner. So you guys can kind of go back and forth um, on those as they begin to add up. 
And then on Sunday, it's just an active recovery day. Again, I would uh, recommend maybe coming in and just really foam rolling, spending some time hitting the Ramwad before we crush uh, Murph on Monday. So again, guys, last week of Murph prep, I appreciate you guys putting up with all the pull-ups, the push-ups, the squats, the running, the longer, the main um, time kind of workouts. It's, uh, you know, it's gonna be a good time. Again, we're gonna have Murph heats uh, starting as soon as, uh, as early, I should say, as 7.30 and uh, we'll be having a cookout about 12. And again, invite your friends, even if it's just to hang out and watch and, and eat a burger or whatnot. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys soon.